right, gamers, what's up? So I was, I was browsing YouTube while not paying attention in class today, and I got a recommendation from, uh, from the official Hearts of Iron 4 YouTube channel. Dev team is, is teasing yet another DLC, and just like how I cracked the case on the last uh, DLC teaser, I'm about to crack the case right here. So all right, Hearts of Iron 4, something is coming. And you know what is coming, right? So let's give her an old watch here. I've already, I've already analyzed it and everything, like how, like the pro gamer I am. So, all right, starting right off the bat, you can see some sort of ship. I, I can't, I can't tell what that is. I'm not, I'm not a ship guy either. And also, jungle's on fire back here. And gunfire and gunshots. So we're, so we're sitting in the jungle. Jungle's got some war going on, right? And oh, what's this? This, it's a snake, right? And this is the first indicator of what this is. This is a snake. You see, it's a snake that's smoking, right? It's a smoking snake. That snake do be smoking that Zaza. And you know what rhymes with Zaza? Gaza. That's right, boys. Next DLC is going to be all about the G. Now, in all seriousness, this right here is an indication of... This is, of course, a reference to the Brazilian Expeditionary Force, the main... The main fighting component of the Brazilian military that actually fought in World War II. And of course their symbol is a smoking snake, so this DLC is clearly going to have at least Brazil in it as probably the main focus of the DLC. And something that you shouldn't really be surprised about is that there, yes, there is a Sabaton song about the smoking snakes. It's actually about these three chads right here. Apparently they were on patrol in the... <clears throat> in the Alps, in the mountains, in the Alps, right? And they were ambushed by, uh, by Germans. And they kept fighting until they completely ran out of ammunition. And they fixed the very next and charged them down. But they were unfortunately shot and killed. But the Germans who killed them thought they were such chads that they um that they erected a cross over their brave and labeled it three brazilian heroes keep watching boom right there immediately right there you can tell what that is right this is obviously a map of south america there's brazil there's i think i think that's colombia there's ecuador i do believe that's uh, Venezuela and those are the, the European colonies up here like 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 that shape is just ingrained in my mind from freaking playing these map games so much but right here we have a date right January 25th and you know what also happened on January 25th that's right Thailand declared war on the allies now I've always wanted a Thailand DLC or a DLC focused around the Southeast Asian portion or, and I've always wanted a DLC that added uh, content for Siam because after I like read about Siam and how they were brought into the war and their contributions to the war it, it's so interesting to me Thailand you know it's, it's, a pretty, it's, it's a country with a lot of jungles in it right so maybe maybe we get a Thailand of course obviously this is another really long stretch that I'm going on but maybe assume that means that they're gonna reveal something on January 25th which is in, in six days actually and they're probably gonna reveal the name of the DLC and what it's gonna be about yeah because that's what they did last time they put a date on there uh, that when you on their last uh, yeah right here something is coming June 7th Right, they, that's when they revealed. So I don't think January 25th is when the DLC is going to come out, um, unless Paradox just straight up only added focus trees and just didn't add any other mechanics, which they usually add more mechanics besides Battlefield Box Risk, but they usually add more mechanics expanding on something with every single DLC. Maybe of a lot of South American. It might not just be South American. It might be South American, Central American, and the Caribbean. Like, imagine, that would be, like, the most countries added. Because that's just such a big region, right, of uh, Latin America. Speculating, they're probably going to add um, focus trees and content for the larger South American nations. Whether they expand into Central America and the uh, 
in the Caribbean. I'm not too sure. If they do, they'll probably like maybe not give them such big focus tree. Maybe do something kind of like what they did with Iceland and give a give a bit of a smaller more compacted focus tree. And I'm sure if they add content for the Central American countries, they'll have probably have it to where they all share one similar path and that's to revive the the United States of Central America that used to exist. So another thing um, I'm um, that they mention here is that I went back to Twitter. So in the description, it talks about this. this is a bird is a plane. Stay tuned for more details and stuff. And it says lurking in the leaves, right? And you go to Steam Community, lurks within the leaves. You can go to Twitter, and then it's uh, it's lurking within the leaves. So my guess is that maybe there's some sort of jungle special forces unit that might be added. Maybe it might be a special forces we work. Um, it's, it's a lot of different potentials, I would say, of what, what it could be. It's uh, an Enigma machine um, went on sale for the flea market, selling for $51,000. Then they asked what you would buy if you had $51,000. <laughs> <laughs> So what I can break down from this 30 second video is it's clearly something for South America, probably multiple South American nations are going to get content. There's not really anything indicating that Central America and the Caribbean, you know, the rest of Latin America is going to get stuff, but you can always hope, you know, they should just add a little bit, you know, just add a little bit and give me my funny, my funny Nicaragua. Is it Nicaragua that's got that, the funny uh, anarcho-capitalist banana republic stuff? I don't know. But yeah, it's probably going to have something to do with jungle warfare. Maybe the special jungle units. I th I'm, Doesn't India get special jungle units that no other country gets? I think they do. Maybe that's going to be available for everything. Yep, it's gonna be, it's gonna, so all I can draw from this is it has something to do with Brazil, and there's something lurking in the leaves, so, uh, yeah.